Imagine waking up one morning and you're leaking urine, feces, or even both. Well, this is what some women and girls go through on a daily basis. It is a condition called obstetric fistula, one of the most serious and tragic childbirth injuries. It is caused by prolonged obstructed labor. In most cases, it leads to chronic medical problems, depression, and even social isolation. Data from the Ministry of Health shows that more than 1,000 new cases of fistula are recorded in Kenya every year. I spoke to ambassadors in the fight to end obstetric fistula who lived with fistula in silence for decades before finding hope and recovery from repair surgery. Hurting in silence, scores of women suffer from a neglected public health and human rights issue, obstetric fistula. Fistula leaves women with chronic incontinence after a tear in the bath canal caused by prolonged obstructed labor. I spoke to women who have lived with fistula. I started making stool, then was for stool. And I was, uh, at that time I was at home, at my mom's place. So I was unable to tell her or anyone around me. So I just kept quiet for 20 years. The circumstances forced them to suffer in silence out of fear of being stereotyped. Shame, isolation and segregation are among the indignities faced by women who suffer from obstetric fistula. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance of going to the hospital and I went to a midwife. Uh, where I didn't get enough, the necessary treatment that I should have gotten. And that is now where my journey with fistula started. But now that I could not afford diapers, I would use materials like old drugs and all that uh, because of the leakage. I was able to get my child out of the hospital. I was able to get my child out of the hospital. I was able to get my child out of the hospital. They say fistula hindered them from living a normal life. I used to blame myself. There is something that I did wrong somewhere. I was able to get my child out of the hospital. Nilikuwa ninalala chini miaka hiyo yote. Either nitandike leso ama nitandike gunia. Watoto wangu wenyewe walikuwa wamenikana. Nikipikwa chakula fanya kuwekwa chakula kama umbwa. Of course you don't get tired anywhere because of a smell. You affect the people around you. It affects you and affects people around you. So you don't take jobs, first of all. You do not want to go on a social gathering. The silent agony is partly caused by lack of reproductive health education, which leads to widespread ignorance of the basic facts about fistula. Many women live with a condition for years because they cannot afford treatment. Surgery in private hospitals costs between 200,000 to 300,000 shillings. I decided to go to the hospital to ask for assistance. And uh, the doctor told me it was an infection and he gave me some medicine to go and use. But after using it for some time, the problem continued. They did not realize they had obstetric fistula. Nilienda kwa watibabu wa kienyeji. Na nilienda nikatibi wa mpaka mwisho nikambua ni mashetani, ni mapepo yani. The International Day to End Obstetric Fistula is marked annually on the 23rd of May. It is a day to draw attention to the devastating birth injury caused by fistula. This year's theme is 20 years on. Progress, but not enough. Act now to end fistula by 2030. It's quite prevalent for all women who give birth vaginally. Yeah, If you were to give an estimate, up to 90% of women would, uh, after childbirth, vaginal childbirth, it's likely she's likely to have had some tear or uh, or another. And uh, now the severity is what comes in. A fistula surgeon can then plan for her to do a repair. These women who have undergone fistula repair are advised that after they recover and they get pregnant again, they are advised to have an elective cesarean section so that uh, you avoid the risk of them going through uh, another fistula. The Flying Doctors Society of Africa, in conjunction with the Royal Media Services and other partners, will commemorate the International Day to End Obstetric Fistula in a week-long free medical camp at Webuya County Hospital, which will offer free medical advice, treatment and surgeries to fistula patients in Bungoma. Royal Media 
um, came in at a time when people were not talking about fistula. And they were able to bring attention to this great problem that is afflicting many women in Kenya. This initiative in uh, Bungoma uh, County, being held at Webuya County Hospital, we are also targeting 60 women within Bungoma and within even the neighboring counties. So the same thing we are going to be doing, we are going to be using the community health volunteers who are going to bring women uh, into the hospital. Then we will go with our surgeons and we already have even a trained team in Bungoma uh, County. Bungoma County is one of those counties where um, uh, the hospital, we've done a lot of capacity building, so the hospital is able to screen and maybe handle the minor cases, yes. Timely access to quality emergency obstetric care and the presence of trained health professionals with midwifery skills during childbirth is the most cost-effective way to reduce maternal mortality and morbidities such as fistula. I saw an advert on Citizen TV. There's a free fistula come at KNH. I saw it on a Thursday and then on Friday morning I went. Got there around 7 a.m. and I was number 512. So the encouraging thing was, oh, there's another 511 who are suffering through this thing, and I thought I was alone in this. Ilikuwa kwa siku naweza kuwa na gora nne za nguo niko nazo hivi. Maana baada ya nusu saa leso nzima imetota. Lakini saa hii nashukuru na la vizuri, nikilala na la na la vizuri kama mtoto mdogo na nikisikia haja naenda haja vizuri mpaka saa hii nasikia niko sawa. Maisha yangu nasema ya mesha badili katayari kwa sababu vile nilikuwa mwanzo na hivi naona nimebadilika si kama kawaida vile nilikuwa. I will encourage women to come out. This thing is treatable. We are people ready to help. Speak to someone. Someone will come out because of you. You will get help. Thousands of women in the country have been able to pick up the pieces of their lives that were broken by obstetric fistula after undergoing corrective surgery.